Earthquakes are happening all the time. Most are so small that, people don't even feel them. But some can be very powerful. If they occur near towns and cities, they can make, buildings and bridges, sway or even collapse. Earthquakes, can also occur along the sea floor, and cause it to move, and if the quake is, powerful enough, it can trigger waves that travel across the ocean. These waves grow, taller as they approach land, becoming a tsunami. Tsunamis can have devastating, effects on people. What are tsunamis? The word tsunami comprises the Japanese word su, meaning harbor, and nami, meaning wave. A tsunami is a series of enormous waves created by an underwater disturbance usually associated with earthquakes occurring below or near the ocean. Volcanic eruptions, submarine landslides, and coastal rock falls can also generate a tsunami, as can a large asteroid impacting the ocean. They originate from a vertical movement of the seafloor with the consequent displacement of water mass. Tsunami waves often look like walls of water and can attack the shoreline and be dangerous for hours. With waves coming every 5 to 60 minutes. The first wave may not be the largest, and often it is the second, third, fourth, or even later waves that are the biggest. After one wave inundates, or floods inland, it recedes seaward often, as far as, a person can see. So the sea floor is exposed. The next wave then rushes ashore within minutes and carries with it many floating debris that were destroyed by previous waves. What are the causes of tsunamis, earthquakes, landslides, volcanic eruptions, extraterrestrial collisions, earthquakes? It can be generated by movements along fault zones associated with plate boundaries. Most strong earthquakes occur in subduction zones where an ocean plate slides under a continental plate or another younger ocean plate. All earthquakes do not cause tsunamis. There are four conditions necessary for an earthquake to cause a tsunami. The earthquake must occur beneath the ocean or cause material to slide into the ocean. The earthquake must be strong, at least magnitude 6.5 on the Richter scale. The earthquake must rupture the earth's surface and it must occur at shallow depth. The earthquake must cause vertical movement of the sea floor, up to several meters. A landslide which occurs along the coast can force large amounts of water into the sea, disturbing the water and generate a tsunami. Underwater landslides can also result in tsunamis. When the material loosened by the landslide moves violently, pushing the water in front of it.
volcanic eruptions, although relatively infrequent. Violent volcanic eruptions also represent impulsive disturbances. Which can displace a great volume of water and generate extremely destructive tsunami waves in the immediate source area. Extraterrestrial collisions Tsunamis caused by extraterrestrial collision For example asteroids, meteors are an extremely rare occurrence. Although no meteor asteroid induced tsunamis have been recorded in recent history. Scientists realize that if these celestial bodies should strike the ocean a large volume of water would undoubtedly be displaced to cause a tsunami. <laughs>